Racist accent sack. Look, that's not a win. Okay, they're Italian, so it's okay. But Charlie and Chris aren't. Huh. Interesting. Moving along. And just a wall of punch-out Easter eggs in the punch-out pizzeria. Glass Joe looking a lot more confident than usual. Bear hugger as creepy as ever. Doc over there next to Sandman. Piston Honda fighting bald bull. Von Kaiser knocking out Don Flamenco, I think? Also the Duck Hunt Duck and Lil Max squaring off with Glass Joe. What are the accents? Is it, is it too much? Too much? It's a perfect! Wahoo! Well, I guess you can trust the OG Mario voice actor, Charles Martinet. He's not Italian either. Huh. Next. Dad. Wins, you're hired. It's okay, see now Spike is being deliberately racist, which makes him a good bad guy, so we're still winning racism. Huh. Pushing forward. So far. <laughs> the ones that mic drops didn't have a cost. I kind of feel like the GameCube theme song is a deep cut unless you're in your mid-20s, but what do I know? Spike was the bad guy in the Mario game Wrecking Crew, and we all knew that. I kind of like that Mario's platformer skills aren't a result of Peach's teaching. It's a real-world skill he already has, and when the Beastie Boys sing about your city, you're unstoppable. Also teamwork. And he beats 1-1 with no power-ups. He even goes above the frame, which usually leads to a warp, but five-pole sound effects and all. And I mean, it's truly 1-1. Goodness, Tetris block painting. That's what the floors are made of in Super Mario Bros. 3 underground levels, and everything is just cubes. Also, you can hear the Super Mario Bros. 3 World 1 theme playing slowly. The scariest villain in the entire movie is Francis with his nose pressed up against the glass. Hey, shielding Bowser breath shadowing. The world laughed at Da Vinci, too. I'm not sure they did, Mom. Da Vinci? <laughs> sure they did. Look, lots of NES game references. I mean, he's playing Kid Icarus, but Kung Fu was my childhood. And you know we had the power pad for track and field, but really for athletic world. That's the one with the river and the graph, and you jump with the logs and stuff. Yeah, it's a good one. I'm young, just like you. so small. Better stop hating mushrooms, then. Good lesson for the kiddos. Veggies good give you superpowers. Although there are some advantages to being small. <laughs> Mario's head was bigger than I realized. Level 1-2 because they're going underground, even got the right theme music. Hints that we definitely don't need to worry about how Rainbow Road will look if it happens to come up. Worlds between worlds are always so beautiful. Yes, orchestral Mario theme I've had in my head for literal my brother. Compliments when his bro isn't even there to hear them. When he watches me kill his brother! Hey, uh, Bowser, you wanna chill a little? Like, shoot some fireballs, maybe a little light kidnapping, but why don't we keep the murder on the DL? There are kids here. Yeah. No, cool, cool, going for night terrors. Fair, that's fair. Is that Goomba from Giant Land? I wonder what he did to what the blazes is that little demon? Oh, it's just a loom I wonder what it was trying to sell. Follow me. Voices not matching visuals always works for me. Even if it's a little AI voice that does all those movie recaps. <laughs> Another needle drop, this time making sure we didn't miss Miami Vice Kong's vibe. We didn't. Still such a polite little dude. We have art in our hair. <laughs> I know Donkey Kong rap has been around since Donkey Kong 64, but the Run DMC vibes are way heavier in HD. That means you, Diddy Kong! Diddy, obviously, but Dixie and Chunky showed up for this, too. I love that his hat falls off and then he lands in it on the tumble to go back on. Is this what you came for? Yeah, we're not not entertained. Yeah! <laughs> the camera zooms in on his hand ever so slightly so it seems like he's about to get big, but if you heard the power-up noise, you know what happened. Jude's favorite scene right there. Not sure what it says about him, and I'm not too worried about it. Probably time for Donkey Kong Country. DK going old school, which checks out since the entire arena is the OG Donkey Kong. Blue ladders and everything. <laughs> okay, that was a smart way to get him to say it. I don't think you can do that in Smash Bros, but who am I to judge the mod? Ah, uh, mercy and saving your new best friend. Pick your cards! Jude and I started playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and if you know how many times I had to say those words. Hey, hit A, hit A! Love really makes a guy come out of his shell. Again, maybe a turtle crossed with a dinosaur? Just the most messed up turtle? I get why he's so angry. He has defeated Donkey Kong and won the Kong Army. I mean, you make it sound way more remarkable than it actually was, but truthfully, Mario is the short king, so it plays. Peach's racing suit matches her bike, and even if it's game accurate, it's a very on character, which I can coordinate that well. That doesn't seem like a regulation card. Again, not regulation, but there's definitely a sense of safety during this Mario Kart sequence, so I like that his car can actually be blown up and he's in actual danger. It's animation, so a long take doesn't count. Cool, it still looks amazing, especially the spinner on Peach right at the end. <laughs> yeah, I'm 
fan is picking it up fast. And I know it's kind of old hat at this point in the movie, but the accurate sound effects are really pleasing to the ear. <laughs> friendship. Almost friendship. Blue shell! Like I said, blue shells are just way too OP unless I have them, in which case they're perfectly fair. Also really, really into the way they got us to be able to experience Rainbow Rice Flower? It's a flower. What if she wants magical flowers for her bouquet? <laughs> Now we're talking. What was I saying about the satisfaction? 1 1 music, power ups, ground pound, even his little arms outrun. We won't tell anyone that you can't stomp a piranha plant. This is fun! Agreed! Look, I get why they skipped over the Super League and Ratchet and Mario, but if you're gonna do that, where's the statue? And if it's about flying, what about a pee with? I'm just name dropping stuff. This is awesome, and I'm happy about it, and also he's a cute genie. Also, Super Mario Bros. 3 1 2 music? I'd want to say this isn't how lava works, but it absolutely is how lava works in Mario games, so we're good. As long as we're together, everything is gonna be okay. Saving your brother. Mario, why do you look like a bear? What is this? It's two observations. <laughs> Brutal. Uh, and he's polite to the last. Is this a reference to the 93 movie? They land in a construction site by the Brooklyn Bridge, too. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but the peril in this movie is always next level. Just listen to the bad guys growl. I mean, seriously, Bowser is an actual beast. You just don't know when to quit. Yeah, I've been told that before. <laughs> and you learned to take it as a compliment. Thanks, Peach. Sign her up for Arsenal. You know, because of the pink kit. Invincible boys. With the star theme playing and everything. I call that a sing moment. This sick. They just did a punch out star punch in front of the punch out pizzeria. A new cast of friends and really polished Chris Pratt star. As a Charlie Day stan, I obviously want more of his Luigi and more of the brothers working together. But it forces us to get to know Anya Taylor Joy's Peach and Keegan Michael Key's Toad, who are both fantastic. The entire supporting cast as well really came to play. I love the Donkey Kong, and the nicest thing I can say is that Seth Rogen was not distracted. Sounds like a slight. My point is that he usually is, and this time I just saw DK. The theme and morals are pretty straightforward. Stop the evil, trust your friends, brotherhood is good. Seemingly another reason to split them up. I think there are plenty of ways to do more compelling stories going forward, but it's clear that this first one was about cramming in a bunch of amazing visuals and references, and in that, they succeeded. Zero complaints. This movie is like a candy-coated nostalgia trip. Jude loves it, Julia loves it, I love it. Marco kept saying, outside, and pointed to the door, so I guess she loved it too. And hopefully it's the start of a well-made franchise. I can't believe I'm asking for an